Come on out. God's sake. We've got someone new. Mark's place. I wonder if Roman's there. Should I just go to the park first? Well, I'm here. Do you know where Roman is? I still think you shouldn't be out here. Thank you, but I will be fine. Sorry about this. I knocked and the door opened, so I came in. Uh, That's quite all right. And you are? I'm Gus McPherson. I'm a private detective hired to help out with the local murders. Really? A genuine private dick, and I can tell by your accent you're American, too. This adds so much to the authenticity of the stereotype. The name is Mark Ackerman. Pleased to meet you. Wow. Okay. Likewise. Are you British? No, I'm a yike, just like you are. The accent is due to living in England throughout most of my childhood. You see, Daddy is an ambassador. Uh I sort of picked it up along the way. I hardly notice it anymore. <laughs> Mark? Qui est Stay in your position, Napolina, please. Do you have time for a few questions? For just a few, yes, of course. It's sort of exciting, this private detective stuff. Okay. This was a while back, but do you remember when Inspector Skalnik came here to talk to you? Actually, according to rumor, you had an argument with him. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And do you mind telling me what it was about? Not at all. He accused me of being, as you put it so eloquently earlier, the local problem. He accused you of being the killer. Uh. Yes, can you believe the gall? I mean, really, me, a killer. It's totally preposterous. Why? Did he elaborate on his theory? Not really. He only confronted me. He didn't present any proof or real evidence to support his allegations. I'm afraid you'll have to ask him about his little hypothesis. Seems I'm sorry, weird. but I have to ask this. Did you ever employ these women other than for modeling? I was always professional, Mr. McPherson. I never touched those women. Again, I apologize, but I have to ask these types of questions. It's quite all right, I understand. Marc! J'en ai marre! Well, I believe that's my cue. Yes, indeed. I must get back to work before... Well, before... Yes, I know. Thanks for answering my questions. Can I come back later, maybe when you're less busy? Certainly. As I mentioned before, your best bet is to talk to Inspector mm. Skalnik. Well, again, my thanks. You're quite welcome. And good luck. Who's that dude? Hey, dude. Dude, then. <sighs> Let's go 
Don't talk to him, do we? Go on then. This will be fun. Still need to find Roman. Hey, friend. Mr. McPherson, what can I do for you? I'd like to talk to your boss. Is he in now? As a matter of fact, he is. Are you going to pester him with annoying questions? Yes, Mr. Big How'd you know? A oh, wild guess. Go right in, my friend. It's up the stairs at the end of the hall to your right. Thanks. Okay. Go through there then. It's up the stairs at the end of the hall to the right. So is that the stairs are at the end of the hall on the right? Okay. Hello. Inspector Skalnik? If it isn't the knight in shining armor. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a... What do you want, McPherson? I was on my way out. Oh, yeah. I'd like to ask you about Mark, the local artist. What about him? Yeah, what about him? Well, I thought I remember you saying that you had no suspects related to these crimes. And this charming gentleman says otherwise. What did he say exactly? You accused he said him. that you accused him of the crimes. Yeah. May I ask why? Yes, I considered him a suspect. Wouldn't you? Why? It doesn't matter what I think. That's all the time I have for you. Huh? Fine. Can you at least lend me the files on the other victims? No, McPherson. <laughs> why not? Nice I try. just want to consult them. Hey, I thought we were working to... No, we are not. I work for the mayor, not the whores. Nice. Well, now, it seems we work for the same kind of people, except my clients have character and honesty. Ha <laughs> hello. This concludes our conversation. I have business elsewhere. <laughs> so I'm going out. I'm going to go back then. Can I go back? I'll go back upstairs now. He's gonna. Hey, Kaz, I need another favor. What can I do? I want to go. Upstairs. I need to get some files from Skalnik's office. Can you let me in? I'm afraid I can't do that, my friend. That could mean my job. Ah, oh, come on. For old times' sake. No, really. I can't help you. But maybe. Maybe the workers on the side of the building can help you. All right. Uh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Have a nice evening. God's sake. The workers are on the side of the building. Because that's where the gate and the car was before. Okay. Oops. Yeah, don't know why I've got that. I have to manage a way up. to manage a way up. It's just a rope, is it? I don't know why I pulled it off, why I didn't just climb up it. Okay. What's 
about combining that with that, okay, and then using that It's a grappling hook now. God's sake. I have to manage a way up. Another ring, another photograph, that's where I had my funny turn. Go back in there. Maybe I'm best getting the hell out of here. What's that? Bridge. I need to see Roman. Where's the lingerie place? Go and see Roman. Where's Roman? I shouldn't bother him. I know, I want to see Roman. Hang on. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go and have a look at the bridge then. Is this where I was before? I've got a photo to compare now. Jesus. Is this that coachman dude? Yeah. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Didn't we talk about you staying at home safely, behind a bolted door? Yes, we did, but we also talked about me going to see the doctor. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that. So what did the doc say? Did he find the problem? Well, yes, he did. So, what's wrong? Can I ask you a very serious question? Okay. Now I'm worried. What is it? How serious are we? How serious? She's pregnant. Well, uh... Why do you ask? Just answer the question. I'm sorry, Ida, but where is this going? Do you love me? Yes, of course I love you. Actually, love is too small a word. I lure you, I love you, I lobe you. For God's sake. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Really? Yes, really. That's why I've been sick for the last couple of weeks. I see. What do you want to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Which is? Let's get married. Really? Let's do it in New York. I have some friends and family that can help us get started. Oh, Gus, you're wonderful. <laughs> we 
weird view. Don't know what the heartbeat's for. Hold on. again. Um, okay. Right, so let's spot the difference. Obviously there's a poor woman. So she was found there. Looks like the benches have been changed. Now where are the old ones? Why would the benches have been changed? Yeah, don't worry. Benches are here. I don't know what that noise is meant to be. It's meant to be frogs or something. It's weird. Hey, Peter. Hello, Gustav! I like your name. It reminds me of my father. Oh, your father's name was Gustav? No, no Michael. <laughs> I can see why you would think that. Anyways, I need to ask you a question. Did you guys ever receive some old public benches? Hmm. Yeah, we did! They're right over here! you are thank you my very large friend <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh and it's a good thing I do I'd hate to be on your bad side actually I know what that's like <laughs> mm -hmm. hey Let's have a look Interesting, another metal ring. Is that it? Right. Thank you. Why did you want to see the benches? I was just looking for something. Oh, okay, Michael. See you later. <laughs> My name is... Uh, never mind. Right. So... Still need to find Roman. Don't we? Um, go 
go have another look around that dark burn neighbourhood place. Because there was a photograph of that as well, wasn't there? If we have a meet around there, we might find another metal ring. Where's the burned? That bath was empty at the time. Right. Where's your mask gone? Oh, okay, he's empty in it. Oh, dear. This message was carved recently. Someone is leaving breadcrumbs. The slip nose. There's a ring that we've missed. 